This is Lesson 15 Homework, Module 7, Grade 2. Get your name on there. And we're measuring things. Measure the length of each household object with your ruler. And then use your ruler to draw a line equal to the length of each object in the space provided. So we're measuring things in inches, inches, inches. So you need it in a ruler that has inches. Uh, that shows inches and you're gonna need objects that are not as big that are shorter than the page uh, you can't um, if you measure your refrigerator you're not going to be able to draw a line as long as your refrigerator on the page because it's too big so uh, the first two things it says to pick a fork and a tablespoon I'm just gonna give an example here and I'm gonna measure the fork if I turn it over there get my ruler now some rulers have a uh, zero line mine does if it doesn't then you're gonna have to go from the end of the ruler but this line does have a zero so I'm gonna have to start at the zero and I'm looking at this starting here and going to see where it ends and here we have it it ends kind of in the middle it's in between six and seven it's closer to the seven than it is the end of this right here is closer to the seven than it is to the six so I'm going to call it seven. Now, if it's exactly right in the middle between the two, call it the higher number. So this is uh, this is seven, and so I'm going to make since I'm calling it seven, the dinner fork is seven inches. I'm going to make a line that is seven inches long. So starting here at the zero. And I'm going to keep drawing this line until I stop at the 7. And that's where I'm going to stop right there. And if you draw it too long, you can always just mark where you should have stopped and then erase the rest if you went too long. And now I'm not going to measure all these things, but that's just an example of how to measure something. Write it down and draw a line, how long it is. That's what you're supposed to do for these. A tablespoon. You could use a regular spoon. It'll be fine or you know, a tablespoon is a measuring spoon, you could use that too. Um, and then two other household objects, pick, you know, pick anything that you want really, that's, it's, but it has to be something shorter than the page. So I'm gonna use, for this example, a Sharpie. Uh, I could call this a pen, or just a marker, or a Sharpie. A this has the name written right on it, and I'm going to measure it from end to end. And this is another one of those things that's not exactly start right here at the zero mark because my rule has a zero. And one, two, three, four, five. And here's the end of it it's closer to the five than it is to the six. So I'm going to call it five. So a Sharpie is five inches. Draw a line that's the same length as the Sharpie. And so I'm going to draw a five inch line starting at the zero mark. And I'm going to go all the way and stop when I get to the five mark. There's the five inches. And then after you're done doing all of your measuring, we have some questions about the things that you measured. What was the longest object you measured? Well, you'll have measured one, two, three, four things when you're done. So you may have something that's even longer than the dinner fork. It won't be a lot longer because it's almost the whole width of the page. But the longest object I measured was the fork for me it was the fork you may have something that's a little bit longer than the fork and if you did write down what that is so this is not looking for a number here we want to know what was the longest object you measured so for me it was the fork and the shortest object I measured it's the other thing that was the sharpie so it was the longest object you measured what was the shortest object you measured 
the difference between the longest object and the shortest object is how many inches. So the difference, that's a subtraction, right? So 7 was the longest. I'm subtracting the 5. 2, you need to have this equation. Just write an equation there. It's really easy to write. 7 minus 5 equals 2. The difference between the two is 2 inches. And you could look at that almost like a tape diagram and say that part would be two inches. It's probably not exactly two inches because these were both rounded measurements. But that's the first page. Our next page, measure and label the length of each side of each shape in inches using your ruler. So let's get the ruler. And we have to measure and label each side. And don't forget to write the units down. Let's see, we're gonna measure this rectangle. It looks to be about, starting here, my ruler has a zero. Like if yours doesn't, then use the end of the ruler to line, to line up with the edge, but I do. So one, two, three, four, five, that's five inches. I can use IN as an abbreviation. And this is a rectangle, right? So that means the opposite sides, because it's a rectangle is also a parallelogram, that means opposite sides have to be the same. So these are both five inches long. And then the ends, these sides are two inches long. And you have to label all four sides two inches there. And now we have some questions. The longer side of the rectangle is, well, we got five and two, so it's five inches. The shorter side of the rectangle is two inches. The longer side of the rectangle is how some inches longer than the shorter side. So uh, five is three longer than two, so three, and you can even write a little five minus two equals three here for your equation. Uh, the shortest side of the trapezoid is how many inches? So here's the trapezoid. Um, the shortest side, uh, let's see, oh, what it says up here, right? I have to measure and label the length of each side of the shape in inches using a ruler. So I've got to measure all the sides of this trapezoid. Now we don't know for sure that they look the same. This side and that side look the same, but we we still have to measure them because they don't have to be, not like a rectangle. So uh, what they'll do, let's see, three inches. We're going to label them anyway, so we may as well measure them. And they are, of course, they are three inches. Three inches in the bottom is two inches. Don't have any room down there, so I'm going to label it inside. And up here, that's one inch. One inch. And then we have some questions about the trapezoid. The shortest side of the trapezoid is, that's the shortest one, is one inches and the in the units are already written for us so we don't have to write those down the longest side of the trapezoid is we got one two and th three so three is the longest the longest three inches the longest side of the trapezoid is how many inches longer than the shortest side well the longest is three the shortest is one so it's three minus one equals two so it's two inches longer and now we have a hexagon and this looks like a regular hexagon, and it must be because it says each side of the hexagon is, so I'm guessing that, that just implies that they're all going to be the same. That's one, and they all look the same. One, 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 one. It may be easier for you to move your ruler around, or if you don't have a lot of room, it may be easier for you to move the paper around instead of moving the ruler when you're measuring stuff like this. So we're gonna still have to label all of these 
one inch, one inch, one inch, one inch, one inch, one inch. And it's a little bit easier to label. You can label them all inside, but as long as you have them, we can tell which label goes with which side, then we're fine. Okay, so each side of the hexagon is one inch. The total length around the hexagon, so we're going to go all the way around the hexagon, starting here, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six inches. Six inches. And this here you can use, if you don't have a ruler, you can cut this little strip out at the bottom because you can see it matches up. So you could cut that out and use it for a ruler if you don't have one. 